<laughs> that block. Who'd you see on that play? It's like Andrew White up front. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to cut the guy. Uh, I think I kind of tripped a little in the process. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looked pretty bad. I went back and watched it. Uh, yeah, I was trying to cut him. We were taught to kick that play out, but I saw the guy coming up behind me, uh, the guy that was man, but either the safety or someone's coming down behind me. So I was just trying to get that guy down because I knew we just needed three yards, and I guess I did. <laughs> what happened in that huddle that, you know, after Blake had thrown that third interception, and then you guys got the ball back later? It's like something just changed. Something started clicking. What, what started happening next five possessions for touchdown? Yeah, I mean, Blake did all that. I kind of pulled him aside on the sideline, just me and him. Uh, I just kind of told him, look, man, you're a game changer. You know this. Uh, you've done it all year. You've done it at LSU. I mean, you've done it everywhere. So just forget about the past. Coach always says, uh, just play the next play. And uh, just told him you can do it. And I guess he went out there and did it. What was he like? What was what was his demeanor? Could you tell a difference in him or anything? Uh, I mean, yeah, he seemed a little down because he, he knew he kind of messed up, I guess I would say. Um, so he, he didn't want to let the team down. Uh, so that's why I kind of saw it and I kind of tried to pick him up. And uh, I felt like he responded great, though. Do you think back uh, the season at the LSU, Arkansas, there's so many games there where it could have gone either way. Uh, I mean, can you appreciate just kind of the, the why of the craziness of the season and how you guys have won these games? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want to have it any other way. It's just fun to play games like this. Um, I think it's helped us build as a team, though. Uh, it gives you confidence. You know you can do it when times like we're down 33-21 or whatever it is, you know you can do it. Uh, and that kind of gives you confidence to go out there and do it, so it helps. Does it, does your, it surprise you that teams defensively consistently try to cover them already one-on-one? -on -one? I mean, they're going to do what they're going to do. Um, I mean, I think if there's a good player on another team, we're going to just do what we do. Um, I guess that's what they're trying to do is just play their defense. You think that's smart? I mean, I'd have the whole defense on. <laughs> <laughs> What's your relationship like with Blake coming? Like you're both some of the rare fifth-year seniors on this team, just coming up together. What's it been like? I've been through a lot, seen a lot. First year we were here, it was <coughs> like the world ended when we lost three games. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, we've seen a lot. Um, we've grown a lot. I remember he was scout team running back, scout team everything. Same with me. Uh, just grown a lot. Uh, gotten a lot tighter with each other. Just, it's awesome. You were a scout team. Well, he was. <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> How was that left tackle? That's fine. Uh, it's a little different. I've played right tackle for all five years, so it's just you just flip everything in your head and flip your feet, and you just kind of go out there and do it. You don't really have time to think about it. Right. After that game, you kind of, you kind of think, wow, this would like to play for Oregon. Playing shootouts. Is that fun? I didn't even think about that, honestly. I mean, it was a fun game. I wouldn't like it every week. <laughs> <laughs> well, did it help? You know, you beat Arkansas fourteen to thirteen, mm -hmm. and the defense kind of slid that day. Did it help? You know, how's it feel to maybe uh, return the favor? I mean, yeah, I think it happens every year. I can remember after Arkansas to tell the demons thank you. I think one of them came up to us and told us thank you. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. We try to play consistent every game. Uh, obviously, that's probably not always going to happen. But uh, there's always going to be games like that where one helps the other more. You see our rivalries around the country. There's people fighting for the game. There's all kinds of nasty. So it doesn't seem there's that much of it with the Iron Bowl. Do you, do you, do you notice that? What's it like on the field? Yeah, I mean, I know from our standpoint, we're not really worried about the other team at the moment. We're just trying to get out there and warm up, uh, just do our thing like we do every game. And that's just kind of what we're worried about. During the game, it doesn't mean there's any kind of like chippiness. Uh, surprisingly, there wasn't. I mean, I figured there would be. Uh, there actually wasn't any. Walk-ons are such an important part of getting ready for each game. Do you kind of have you ever kind of like stop and think with what these guys go through every day, knowing most of them aren't going to get in the game? Yeah, I tell them I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I think they're crazy for it. Um, I mean, I couldn't imagine doing what they do and kind of just getting the glory for it. They're a big part of the team. Uh, they get us ready every game, so I mean, I'm thankful for them. I tell them that too, that they're such a big part. You're seeing, you know, Bama played Missouri a couple of years ago but not a lot of common opponents even. You haven't played since. What are the first two or three things you look for when the tape comes on? Of the what are you looking for? Probably going to look at Shane Ray. That's all I've heard about is uh, how good their D-line is. I mean, I think he leads the SEC in sacks with, I guess, 13 or 14, however many it is. Uh, the biggest thing I look at is who I'm going to play against, though. Um, if they're a field boundary team, if the guys flip, if there's a guy, the same guys on me all the time, 
who the three technique is or whoever it is when I block uh, with Leon. So I just kind of look general on who's around me first. Is it a difficult week of preparation for you, not knowing maybe if you're going to be left or right? No. Um, I've been in this situation a couple of times now, I guess. So uh, I think I've been around long enough that I can mentally handle it. So it's not too bad. What's Lane, like? What's Lane like during a game? When the, uh, There's a video that circled of him doing the <laughs> touchdown before Blake even threw the ball. Is yeah. he just a really confident guy during the game? I mean, honestly, to be honest, I don't really see him a lot because yeah. uh, he's with the skilled guys and we're always with Coach Cristobal. Uh, and, I mean, he seems pretty energetic. Uh, I usually only see him when I come off the field, so he's, he seems like an energetic guy now. <laughs> yeah. You guys have a lot of success running the ball. Yeah, I mean, just so many people have told us we can't run the ball, uh, that we don't look as good running the ball. Uh, that's just kind of one of the points we've tried to focus on, is trying to get push and control the D-line.